Hallelujah. Today we are in a celebration mode because our Savior went to the cross. As a some writer say, he paid the debt that he did not owe. We owe the debt. We could not pay that debt. But he went to the cross. And as we come this morning, we know that we are celebrating a risen Savior who is in the world today. Hallelujah. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Come on, celebrate, celebrate, Jesus, celebrate.
morning, God. We honor you, King of Jing and Lord of Lords, and we celebrate you, the risen Savior of our life this morning. Hallelujah. Let us worship the Lord. Let us adore his matchless name this morning. What a privilege we have this morning that we are able to carry everything to God in prayer because one day he sent his only begotten son to suffer the shame and affliction, to suffer agony and pain and to die on an old rugged cross that someday we will be able to exchange for a crown. Hallelujah! He's a mighty God forever. He's the greatest one. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. And as the songwriter said, don't try to tell me that God is dead. Hallelujah, because I'm standing here this morning. He lives within my soul. Hallelujah. And so we adore him this morning. Let us continue to worship the Lord. This morning I will be your moderator and I want to acknowledge the Holy Spirit in our midst. Bishop Blair, Sister Blair, all the officers, those who are on the online platform, my brothers and sisters. It is good that while others are elsewhere minded, we can find the time, we can take this moment to come into his house because of what he do, did for us and we can rejoice in a free and full salvation. Today as we come, let us reflect on what happened on that day. Hallelujah. It was a horrible day, but a, it was a bad day that turns out good. Hallelujah. And I can imagine that's why they say Good Friday. It was intended because that's what the enemy wanted for it to be a bad day. But thank God that day turned good. And today, that's the legacy we have. And it's a legacy that we have to hold on to because better is on before. Hallelujah. He went through all of that so you and I can have this. And we want to tell somebody that Jesus Christ is indeed Lord. He's alive and he's well. Hallelujah. And anyone who so believe have access to the throne of God. And today my heart is rejoicing. We are going to be standing at this time. And Minister Tamika Miller will be opening for us in prayer. Standing somewhere in the shadows, you'll find Jesus. He is the only one who cares and understands. Standing somewhere in the shadows.
thank you, Jesus. Standing somewhere in the shadow, we will find you, Almighty God. And we will know you by the nail prints. Thank you, Jesus, in your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pleasant good morning to everyone. Hallelujah. Bow your heads and your hearts as we look to the Lord this morning in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On a hill far away stood the old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. Almighty God, we lift you up this morning. Abba Father, we worship you. Hallelujah. Lord, we bow down before your throne this morning, Almighty God. Nothing in our hands we bring, but simply, hallelujah, mm. to the cross we cling. It's the old rugged cross that makes the difference in our lives. Lord, we thank you, almighty God, for the cross. Hallelujah. We thank you, almighty God, for sending your son, your only begotten son, into the world. Oh, Jesus, to die in our place. Hallelujah. It should have been us on the cross, almighty God. But we thank you, almighty God, for standing in our stead. We thank you for saying yes to the cross, dear Jesus. Lord, because you live, we can face tomorrow. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, almighty God. Almighty God, we thank you, almighty God, for the crown of thorns that were placed upon your head. We thank you, almighty God, that you were wounded, hallelujah, for our transgressions, oh God. You were bruised for our iniquities, hallelujah. The chastisement of our peace was upon you, and by your stripes that you took on that day, God, we are healed, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you this morning. We honor you as King. We honor you as Lord. We honor you as Savior. Hallelujah. There is none beside you, none to be compared to you. With our hearts full with praise, mighty God, we come into your house this morning for no other reason but to celebrate your love for no other reason but to celebrate the plan and the gift of salvation almighty god we come to you this morning almighty god through your son jesus christ and we thank you almighty god for divine access that have been given unto us your people as we come almighty god we ask that you will wash us again purge us and cleanse us in the name of jesus we pray almighty Almighty God, that the worship that we give unto you this morning will come up, God, as a sweet-smelling Savior unto you. We pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will tabernacle with us, mighty God. Breathe upon every aspect of this service today. We pray, Almighty God, that there will be unction in the name of Jesus. Lead, mighty God, by your Holy Spirit, because it is not by might, neither is it by power, but it is by your Spirit, O oh God. We pray pray almighty God that you'll tabernacle with us today heavenly father we pray almighty God that the rich red blood of Jesus will be shed abroad in our hearts today help us mighty God to feel a supernatural touch help us mighty God to have an encounter with you today Jesus tabernacle with us mighty God breathe upon everyone that will be taking part in today's service we pray almighty God that you will lead and that you will direct God we thank you almighty God for the access that have been given to us today we thank you for deliverance that is in your house we thank you for salvation that is in your house we thank you almighty God for healing that is in your house we thank you Lord God for breakthrough that is in your house today Jesus heavenly father lead and direct heavenly father that which we fail to ask of you Fail not to grant it unto us, mighty God, for we ask it in no other name, the name that is above every other name, the name that is above doubt and fear, the name that is above principalities and power, the name that is above every other name, the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and God's people say, Amen. Amen. Brethren, just stand and worship the Lord. Today we are in a celebration mode. Guess what? You don't have to slay the lamb anymore. Hallelujah. Your debt is right off. And you now have access. Come on. 
worship him, give him thanks, love him up this morning, show him some love. I heard a song the other day, I am in love with Jesus and he is in love with me. And we know when we are in love, we have smiles on our face, we have joy. You know you just want to dance and move around. If you are in love with Jesus today, come on, show him that you love him. Thank you Jesus, we worship you. We lift you up, we glorify your name, your awesome, mighty God. There is none like you. We lift you up, Jesus. Hallowed be your name today. We thank you, God. We love you today. You are awesome. You are mighty. You are powerful. The healer, Lord, the way maker, the provider, Lord El Shaddai, the God of all plenty, the lily of the valley we worship you God and we thank you for all that you have done for us almighty God we thank you Jesus thank you for your goodness your grace and your tender mercy hallelujah you are worthy today hallelujah today we are celebrating the risen Savior hallelujah who is still with us and we can call upon at this time we're going to be having our first scripture reading that is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 53, reading from verse 1 to 12, and this will be led by Officer George Henry. When you have found it, say Amen. amen. Our first lesson is taken from Isaiah 53, reading from verse 1 to 12. I will read and you will follow. Who have believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form, no comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and...
you, Minister Blair, as you continue to work for the Lord. At this time, our second scripture reading comes to us from the book of St. Matthew, chapter 27, reading from verse 1 to 31, to be led by Officer Paul Cohen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Sister Colin. Just want to greet Pastor Blair, Sister Blair. To my officers and virgin, all in the name of Jesus. It's good to be in the house of the Lord this morning and this Good Friday to reflect upon the crucifixion of Jesus. And so, for the second lesson, I'm going to ask you to turn your Bible to St. Matthew 27, from verse 1 to 31. Gonna read alternatively. Just say amen when you find it, okay?
to destroy this world and set himself free. But he died alone for you and me. Thank you very much, Officer Paul Cohen. We'll be singing Calvary. At Calvary Hymn number 139. Years I spent in vanity and pride. Years I spent in vanity and pride. Caring not my Lord was crucified. Knowing not it was for me.
that was given so in multiplication unto us this morning. Thank you, Jesus. This time, we'll be having our third scripture reading. St. Matthew chapter 27, verse 32 to 66, to be read by Sister Winifred Davis. Praise the Lord. Shall we continue to worship the Lord? Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Greetings, everyone. Just wave your hands for Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our third lesson comes to us from St. Matthew 27, reading from verse 32 to 66. And it reads thus. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene. Simon by name, him they compelled to bear his cross. Okay, please listen while I read. I'm just going to read and you listen attentively. Thanks. I'll do verse 33. And when they were come unto a place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of skull. They gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall. And when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them. And upon my vesture did they cast lots. And sitting down, they watched him there. And set up over his head his accusation written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and another and the left. And they that passed by reviled him, walking their heads and saying, Thou that destroyed the temple and built it in three days, save thyself. If thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise also the chief priests, mocking him, which the scribes and elders said, he saved others, himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him come down from the cross and we will believe him. He trusted in God, let him deliver him now, him now, if he will have him for he said, I am the Son of God. The thieves also which were crucified with him cast the same in his teeth. Now when the sixth hour came, sorry about that. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud vo voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabbatai. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forgotten me or forsaken me? Some of them that stood there when they heard that said, this man called it for Elias. And straightway one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, let be, let us see whether Elias will come to save him. 
Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, healed of the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. Now when the centurion and they that were with him, watching Jesus, saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly, this was the Son of God. And many women were there, beholding afar off, which followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering unto him, among which was Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James, and Joseph and the mother of Zebedee's children. And when the evening was come, there came a rich man of Arimathea named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went with Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb which he had hewed out in the rock and he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulchre and departed and there was Mary Magdalene and the other Mary sitting over against the sepulchre now the next day that followed the day of the preparation the chief priest and Pharisees came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that that deceiver said, While he was yet alive, after three days I will rise again. Command therefore that the sepulchre be made sure unto the third day, lest his disciples came by night and steal him away and say unto the people, he is risen for, from the dead. So the last error shall be worse than the first. Pilate said unto them, Ye have a watch. Go your way. Make it as sure as ye can. 66 and last. Let everybody read. So they went and made the sepulchre sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch. Here ends the portion of God's word. We all say, thanks be to God. Thank you so much, Sister Davis. Thank God. Hallelujah. That even though they tried to, to secure it so well, our God is greater than that. Hallelujah. And it doesn't matter what they would have used and even today's technology to make it even more secure. Our God is able to burst that tomb. And today, that is why, as I said before, we are celebrating a risen Savior. They tried to lock him in, but man could lock him in. Hallelujah. Because he's the great I am that I am. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to be having a musical item by Brother Lloyd Main. And immediately after, our Bishop Blair will be coming to do our Good Friday's message, I'm going to ask you to stand and acknowledge our bishop when he comes. Let me hear you worship the Lord. Let us worship the Lord. Glory to God. You know, as we are here today for no other reason than to reflect on the death of Christ on the cross. Glory to God. It's because of Calvary. While well, we are here this morning, glory to God, I'm giving God the glory. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The thief was down to his last breath, hung in there on Calvary. When he turned to the master, stayed a
Reading from the New King James Version. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 3 through to 5. Here we find these words. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we did not esteem him. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteem him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Somebody say we are healed. We are healed. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Thanks be to God. I would like to speak to us on the theme just to remind us that he was nailed to the cross for us. And if you want to personalize it, I want you to personalize it. If you believe he was nailed to the cross for me. Tell somebody that he was nailed to the cross for me. I'm happy. I'm, I'm rejoicing. I know he was nailed. I wonder if somebody believed that he was nailed to the cross for you. Oh, somebody bless the name of the Lord. And so God, as I am in this session, amen, you knew from the foundation of the world that I would be here standing. I pray, God, that you'll allow, amen, your Holy Spirit to come and rest upon me now. Saturate me with that rich anointing. That will be able to, oh God, cause me to speak, thus set you, God. I will reflect, I pray now, that the cross will be the symbol. But more so, amen, the man on the cross will be the ultimate one. May we reflect deeply and be grateful. I ask that you will grant receptive hearts here this very day. Speak your words, Lord. Let your name be glorified in us and through us. In Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, Easter speaks of the crucifixion and the resurrection. Uh, today, the cross has become a sign of hope. Especially in this such a hopeless world. 
And then we oftentimes see the cross. I'm in place and churches, evil hospitals and schools. There are some laws that have been crafted to that the cross is an offense, and some countries they have removed the cross. They are used profusely, and I don't know if you ever noticed that. In cemeteries and headstones, along the roadside, especially if there's a fatality in some countries, they will have the sign of the cross when there is a fatality. Our fatalities. And the question is asked why people use the cross this way? They even some notorious criminals, some damned men who hung the cross around their neck with expensive jewelry. Why is it that they have the cross? Why for us and many others who are believers? Why is the cross such a symbol of hope? Is it that we have seen it giving hope to the hopeless in time past? Perhaps. The story was told of a little boy who got lost. And uh, Police officers, they were on their routine and they found him and they recognized that something was off. He was not comfortable. And this little child was unable to say where he lives. They, they, they prompt him and they asked him so many questions, but he was not able to say what his address was. Oh, somebody bless the name of the Lord. Finally, he responded to them as they prompt him. He was sobbing and weeping, missing home, missing his mother, missing his Parents. And the little fella said, Sir, if you will take me to the cross, then I can find my way from there. In fact, many of us today might be lost in some way or another. Our vision for life, the way in which we planned our life, it did not work out that way. And it seems as if we have strayed away and we are in the wilderness of nowhere. But if you can just find the cross, Lead me to the cross that I may see my way again. Oh, somebody bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Lost sinners today out there in this world seeking for direction, seeking for purpose. It is wrapped up in the cross of Calvary. Oh somebody bless the name of Jesus. The ancient world, the Roman ancient world, the cross was a sign of cruelty and death. Crucifixion was observed for criminals and rebels, outcasts, 
in society. It was used to discourage people from rebelling against the governance, the Roman governance. Yet, through the cross, through Christ's death and the cross, today is a different kind of symbol. It is that wonderful symbol of hope. The strange thing is that Jesus Christ conquered death by dying. He turned what looks like defeat into victory. And in God Almighty, they expect him, they thought that it was over. But he raised, raising from the dead. Amen. He, amen, typify the fact that we have a lively hope. Uh, my brothers and sisters, this afternoon or uh, this morning, this midday hour, uh, Jesus Christ was nailed to the cross. There are four things that we'd like to look on to symbolize the virtue that comes from the cross. First of all, the Savior. Secondly, a sign. Thirdly, our sin. And finally, God's statues. My brothers and sisters, in the book of St. Matthew that was read, we see there from the verse 38 through to 44, the two robbers were crucified with him. One on the right and the other on the left. And those who passed by, they walked their heads and some blasphemed. Saying, you who destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the son of God. They ask, they challenge him, come down from the cross. But somebody made a sign out of it that when he was on the cross, you and I were on his mind. Likewise, the chief priest also mocking him with the scribes and the elders said he saved others. Himself he cannot save. If you be the king of Israel, come down. Come down from the cross and we will believe. He said that he trusts in God. Let him deliver him now. Oh God, help us Jesus. For he said, I am the son of God. And so they ridiculed him and they tempted him. But he held strong because he knew that it was his time and that he was the Lamb of God that was offered for our sins. Oh, somebody bless the name of the Lord. Amen. I even the robbers, they reviled him. They mocked him and they jeered him. My brothers and sisters, the first thing that was nailed to the cross is our Savior because he embodies just about everything else. In him, we have the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. When Christ was nailed to the cross, they, most people, they mocked him because they, he was doing so well. And even some that were following him before, they, they were disappointed because they were expecting a normal, natural government. But his kingdom was not of 
this world. And many were disappointed. So they ridiculed him. Ridiculed him. I just want to say to us today. As reflect on this very day. That Jesus Christ. Listen. The, the, the leader could not do otherwise. He write an inscription. And it said Jesus Christ the king of the Jews. It is a sign to say that he is what he is. I'm here to remind us that he could have done something different. But it was the will of God for him to be nailed to the cross. Oh somebody bless the name of the Lord. Amen. The process as reflect time and time again was not ordinary. Before he was made, let me backtrack. He was beaten with many stripes. It was Isaiah the prophet who saw it almost 800 years before he came. And Isaiah cried out that he was wounded for what transgressions. Oh somebody bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He did not stop at the beating station, but there was a, amen, a path for him to try. And he had to carry his cross. Somebody made a song out of it, but it's not too true. It's not 80 and 2 miles. Amen. From Pilate Hall to Mount Calvary, he carried the cross. But there was a man. Amen. And they said there was a black man. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Simon was on the scene to help him carry the cross. At one point it is said that he fell with the cross. He could have stayed there but he decided that I have to go to Calvary. Because I need to redeem Adam's fallen race. Oh somebody bless the name of the Lord. That's why we can say indeed he is our redeemer. It was not easy after receiving those stripes and to walk such a distance being mocked and cheered. He was to his wit's end. He was tired and weary. Nevertheless, he endured the ramen. He endured the situation that revolves around him. My brothers and sisters, they went there and According to the historic account is that they would have put down the cross, laid down, and get strong men of Amen, to plot his leg, amen, and to put, amen, his hands, one over this side and one over that side. And we see demonstration of the cross there this morning. And they would have nailed it. He was alive all right, so he would have felt the nail piercing through his hand. He, he was human. He was the God man, so he could have felt the pain. Oh, somebody bless the name of Jesus. Sometimes you wonder why we bless the name of Jesus. We thank him for enduring the cross. Oh, somebody bless the name of the Lord. Hey, hallelujah. So they would have nailed him, hear him cry out in anguish. Uh, Mary, his mother, was there to witness the account. It was not easy. The disciples, some of them fell off, far off, some of them were very disappointed. And so they nailed him there. He was nailed to the cross for me and for you. And so, after they would have done that, amen, we are upon the hill, there was a kind of slope, it is said, and he, he, they would have just taken up his body on that cross. Oh God Almighty. And there was a hole that was dug. And they would have lifted that cross. And they would have dropped it into the hole. 
those of you who know when in some areas how they stick, they, they would have stick a yam feel with a stick. Th those of you who know those kind of thing when somebody want to put a pen somewhere. And each time that they would have lit the cross and let it go in that hole, his flesh would have teared. His feet would have given way. His hands would have given way. And he would have cried in agony. While some were laughing and cheering and mocking. They were having. It was like a festival when it comes on to crucifixion. It was a festival. People were rejoicing and people were mocking and cheering. And he was crying out. I believe that he was crying out to his father. You can see even later on where he said, My God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? He was asking for mercy. But just as he was in Gethsemane, he said, Not my will, Lord, but thy will be done. Oh, somebody bless the name of the Lord. And so he was nailed there. He was placed upright. And, amen. Praise God. He was struggling. And they were, he was not a criminal. He was just a lamb. A lamb to be slaughtered. Criminals were on both sides. And they were there. And one of them were very offensive. One of them really joined on with the scribes and the leaders but the other one was there very penitent there always somebody that would be sorry for you when you're going through you're going through oh god almighty even empathy works sometimes you need a kind word he was struggling but here is it that a man who amen was guilty of his charges amen this man knew that jesus was not guilty and he said listen to me he's not guilty like us keep quiet and he said Jesus Jesus I believe that, 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 that soul is saved because when you even I don't know where you are but when you can cry sincerely and say Jesus Jesus Jesus, I am messed up. I am a, I'm a criminal dying for my God, for my crime. But Jesus, Jesus, remember me. Remember me, remember me, remember me. I don't know where you are here this very day. Amen. But we are sinners saved by grace. And we have the liberty like that man. That criminal. I can say Jesus. Jesus. I don't know about you. But I often pray. Like David and I say have mercy upon me. Oh God. Oh somebody bless the name of Jesus. Oh somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. One good thing. Amen. He doesn't have to. You don't have to lay with him. Amen. Praise God like that woman with that issue of blood because he's in the spirit now and when you call his name he hears you wherever you are you can you could be in the deepest valley you could be on the mountain top wherever you are and you call out the name of Jesus especially for a broken heart the Bible says Sammy says a broken and a contrite heart he will not despise somebody call the name of Jesus Christ have mercy upon me hallelujah 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 so, somebody once asked a question even those who crucified him he died for them those who killed him he died for them it's only for God to know whether or not somebody had repented. Because somebody once said, indeed, this was the Son of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so, today as we are here reflecting, 
Amen. Knowing that he was royalty. Exceptional. He did not just make himself into a king. He came as a king of all kings. To conquer death. And the grave. So that we can. Amen. Rejoice. In a full and free salvation. Oh God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh glory to God. So whatever the situation is today. There is a place called Mount Calvary. There, 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 there's a cross of Christ that makes the difference. There are some of us, like I mentioned before, use the cross as a symbol. But it's not just necessarily the cross, but the meaning of the cross. Oh, somebody bless the name of the Lord. And so the meaning of the, the cross is that Jesus Christ conquers all. Amen. He conquers our sin. He's able to heal you from sin sick body into a brand new holy soul. He conquered. Amen. And conquer and to conquer. And so therefore even the, the statues and the laws of yesteryear. Amen. We don't have to go to an ordinary priest anymore. Because the middle wall of partition has been broken down. And we can come boldly to the throne of grace. Where we will find favor. All because of the cross of Christ. Somebody give him a praise in this place. So we have free access to God. Yeah, if he had stepped down here. If he had listened to the criticism and the rhetoric. But he was very purposeful. And I wonder the memory verse of the Bible. John 3, 16 state. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. It's sad to say this very day there are some that don't believe. It is said the Bible says that he came to his own and his own received him not. But as many as receive him and you have to believe to receive. Oh somebody bless the name of the Lord. And that's why we are called believers. Because we believe in his resurrection. Let me backtrack. We believe in his crucifixion. We believe that he was bruised. and Amen. He was beaten and bruised. We believe that they had betrayed him. We believe that they had denied him. Oh, somebody bless the name of the Lord. We believe that Pharaoh, Herod tried to kill him. We believe that he was born in a manger. And we also believe that he was born by the way of a virgin birth. We believe that that babe was the Christ child. Somebody say, I believe. If you're a Christian and you don't believe those, amen, praise God, you need to go down to the place where you ask yourself, is he really the one? John at one point saw in so many things that were happening around him. He was in prison. Amen, praise God. And what happened, John could not understand it and John sent a message to Jesus to find out that he, if he is the one and there is another one to come you see sometimes our natural mind cannot comprehend him you then in those days and don't get mad with those disciples who were disappointed amen praise God because you realize then that they were looking to a natural eye they, they, even though they read the scripture they were not interpreting as they are to interpret but when they saw 
that something was happening and something happened on that cross. Immediately he was there and the Bible says that he, amen, he, he called out that he was thirsty. Oh God, and when person, and it is just like some of us when we are going through some stuff. Amen. There are sometimes we are persecuted beyond measure and we call for help and we get Instead of we get something nice to drink, we get vinegar mingled with God. I don't know. And it is a journey, my brothers and sisters, as, as children of God. Sometimes when you want the help the most, amen, mo mo uh, worst thing come to you. Amen. You, 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 you take a move to another end and you're hoping for breakthrough to come. But instead of you getting the breakthrough, you get vinegar mixed with God. But hang on in dear church of God. Amen. Praise God. This soon be passed. This cup. Amen. Amen. He said if, if it is possible let this cup pass from me. Not my will but thy will be done. Oh somebody bless the name of the Lord. I don't know what cup might be serving right now in your corner but I'm here to tell you stick it out write it out because a day is coming your crown of life is awaiting you don't let the bitter cup cause you to get this courage and to throw in the towel amen right on with Jesus he is a, he's the one that will give you sufficient grace to make it in oh somebody bless the name of the Lord Jesus received the grace to endure the cross so that you and I I can have full access to him today. That you and I can say we are saved and we are sanctified. We are washed with the blood of Jesus Christ. Don't you know that the blood of Jesus is still running warm in Amen at the foot of the cross. Amen. There's a fountain filled with blood he was nailed for you yes he was nailed for you there's a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel vein and sinners plunge beneath that flood lose all their guilt and stain I believe somebody say I believe hallelujah so amen praise God when it tasted he told them that it is finished Meaning that man's redemption has been secured. Oh God Almighty, he cried out with a loud voice. Amen. Praise God. In Arabic, my God, my God. Why? Have you forsaken me? I come to let somebody know you might be enduring some things. I know no, none can endure what Jesus endured, but you might be enduring some little things. It's all right to call out to him. Call out to him, like I said before, ask him to have mercy upon you. And if you feel that you are forsaken, why won't you tell him, God, I feel forsaken? Amen. He's just a prior away. Amen. Jesus didn't deliver him because it was his will. It pleased the Lord to bruise him. Oh, somebody bless the name of Jesus. Ah, oh, God, ah, yes. Ah. Hey, hey, it pleased the Lord to bruise him. Ah, oh, somebody bless the name of Jesus. He was bruised for us, all right. Yes, he was bruised for Church of God here in Sanguinity. Oh, God, somebody wave your hands and give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so today as we reminisce, amen, the Bible says that he bow his head and die. He healed up the ghost. And immediately the earth becomes nervous. There was a shaking. The, the earth could not contain that kind of transition. Oh God. Hey. The sun refused to look. The sun couldn't look anymore. It was an eclipse beyond measure. 
And we're coming up next month, according to the scientists, they say on the eighth there will be a, some kind of eclipse. But there was an eclipse extraordinary. Oh God Almighty. The place was darkened. And the place quit. And the Bible says the veil of the temple was rented. And those that were in the grave came out. Oh God Almighty. People the sight of the crucifixion were scampering. So, so, some of them were hiding. Some of them believe now that this man was not an ordinary man. Now, one of the leaders said, indeed, this was the Son of God. Oh, somebody bless the name of the Lord. Yes, he is the Son of God. I don't have any doubt. This is a historic account. I'm sorry, I'm here to remind all of us that we are in the right religion. Because Jesus Christ, according to scripture, was offered up for us. Oh, somebody bless the name of the Lord. They have some so-called saviors and Lord. But there's only one savior. Somebody say savior. savior. Somebody call out the name of your savior. savior. And there's only one Lord. Somebody call out the name of your Lord. Savior. And there's only one redeemer. Somebody call out the name of your redeemer. praise him I don't know if you know how mighty the name of Jesus is I don't know if you know how mighty Jesus is number of us today we hide just behind saying that we know him but until you know how mighty he is until you know how great is you would be able to use that name and you'll be able to stand on his promises you'll be able to believe in him the amen and stand on his words and amen amen and watch the devil should be run away chase him away somebody said chase him away chase him away Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Because at the name of Jesus, we have the victory. At the name of Jesus, tell me who can stand before. There are some of us who don't love the name. And if you're a child of God here, and you don't love the cross, and you don't love the name of Jesus, something is wrong with you. You're not serving him sincerely. Somebody call out Jesus. I don't know about you but I love the name of Jesus when I don't know what to do and I can't even pray when I feel as if I don't have the words I look to oh God Almighty I look up and I call out the name of Jesus oh somebody shout hallelujah I'm in the name of Jesus is a strong tower if you are fearful here today there's a strong tower I hear the psalmist of the Lord amen is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked even my enemies and my foe came upon me to eat of my flesh they stumble you don't know what stumble 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 and fell amen oh God oh somebody take the name of 
Jesus with you. Child of sorrow and of woe. It be no God. Joy and comfort bid you. Take it anywhere you go. Precious name. Oh, how sweet. Oh, what a sweet name. What a victorious name. Ah, somebody, you feel like calling his name. Call his name. Your situation, your situation. He was nailed. He paid the price for you. Yes, he was nailed for you. He was nailed for me. He was nailed for us. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes. Somebody say, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed. I don't know why you need healing. Wherever you need healing, where I help me, help, help me, help, help healing, and, 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 uh, body healing. Oh, God Almighty, whether you need healing in your legs, whether you need healing in your mind, emotional healing, financial healing, by His stripes, you are healed. You are not staying there because there's power in the name of Jesus. He died so that you might have life and have it more abundantly oh do you have salvation today I have salvation because of Jesus it's because of the cross of Calvary here I am rejoicing in a full and free salvation I don't know what to say but if you hear me shouting hallelujah if you hear me shouting, oh God. If you hear me shouting, hallelujah. I intended to give a thousand praise. But I, time will not allow me. So I just say, hallelujah. Time will not allow me. Oh God, sister Mary. Time will not allow me. So I just say, hallelujah. Somebody shout, hallelujah. He's a symbolizing a thousand praise. He's worthy of all our praises. Somebody shout, hallelujah. I can't I, my, my head can't contain it he's so high he's so wide he's so mighty he's so powerful all I can say thank you Jesus hallelujah 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 And Christians, hey, hey, as we go through this season, may the sacrifice of love that He made for us compels us to say hallelujah anyhow anytime any place I am not ashamed not ashamed of the cross I'm not ashamed of the name I'm not ashamed to own him before man not before men I'm gonna say hallelujah anyhow I don't know about you, but I'm excited that I have a savior. He's not in the tomb, but he's risen. We'll come back here on Monday, God's willing, to talk about the resurrection. But thank God, I borrowed the words of the songwriter. And I say, I lost it on Calvary's hill. Oh, somebody bless the name of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. I lost it on Calvary's hill. It rumbled and tumbled and tear. It rolled out of sight. I was happy that night. I lost it on Calvary's hill. I am free. I am free.
Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Continue to shout hallelujah. Continue to shout glory. Continue to shout hallelujah. God bless you. May God bless you here today. Somebody, oh God, bow your heads with me. Also walk with him when everything else seems to be failing. These days you have to be careful the church that you are a part of. Any church that is not promoting the man Christ Jesus. Any church that's not talking about sin and salvation and, and, and amen. Talk about the Savior. It is no church. Amen. Just an organization. But we are here to lift up the name of Jesus. Tell your, name, tell your neighbor that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. It is not time for us to fool ourselves now. And somebody once said that some of us play around until we become addicted to some sinful lifestyle. And not because you know that the blood was shed for you, then you should live any kind of way. Apostle Paul says in writing to the Romans Christians in Romans chapter 6, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? Not because you've heard of the blood that was shed and that he was nailed to the cross for you. That you should slack up and live some kind of life that is not pleasing to him. I encourage you like I encourage myself. Love him by obeying him. Please him and shout hallelujah when you can't even find words to say to him. Because when the praises go up, then the blessings will come down. Father, thank you for ministering today. God, we, we praise you for the reminder and thank you. Thank you, Lord God, that we have access now because the middle wall of partition has been broken down and we can come boldly to your throne. Th thank you, Lord God, that you, you could have called 10,000 angels. But, but you die a very lonely death to redeem Adam's fallen race, which we are a part Father, we thank you now that we are overcomers because we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. We, we believe that we are saved and we are sanctified because we have been washed in the blood. We, we believe, Lord God, in Mount Calvary. We thank you. We, we believe in the historic account. God, we thank you now that he serves as our savior, our lifeguard. And all we have to do, God, is to call out his name. Savior, Savior, have mercy upon somebody today. Save somebody that is going under today. May, may, may someone, oh God, like that little boy who got lost. Amen. Be able to tell somebody or be able to come to himself and be able to say if you just leave, lead me to the cross. Lead me to the cross. 
May you lead us to the cross, Lord, so that we'll find our way home. We rest in you today. Thank you that you were, you was nailed to the cross for me, for us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May you continue to encourage yourself in the Lord. Even no one is there to encourage you. Could you kindly stand? So many things that we need to pray about and uh, amen, praise God. We need to pray for our churches. I was talking to a minister the other day and I, I know I'm streaming but I made no apology. And, 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 and the minister was saying he's concerned about our churches today. Especially our Pentecostal, our jump up church. The Spirit of God moving on me. We move. But, but he was saying that we were talking and uh, Many of our churches today, as we were talking, I don't know if I was the one who brought up that thing on him, but we were talking. And so many other churches, we don't have sacred place at pump, pulpit again. We have stage. Stage. And who can jump the most and who can pop style and rhyme man. And who mash up the place. Pastor Blair never preached. This one come, come, mash up the place. Who can jump on? But I'm not against the jumping, but make sure it's the spirit of the Lord. Yes. And I'm a gymnastic, and I'm a plating. So, so, so it even now caused me to examine myself. I'm not going to criticize anybody out there and say, I don't want and, and those of you who have anything to do with up here. I just want to remind us that is not a stage. Oh God, help me, Jesus. But it is the holy place where you expect God to speak. Thus said him. Oh, somebody praise God. There are some things going past this season here that we have to get a grip with and make, make sure that you'll be real. These days demand real Christian living. Real, real. And I'm not saying that you won't feel, but when you feel, please find that place because the blood of Jesus Christ is still here. And no mean that you just plan to feel. He said, if you sin, which is a condition, if you sin, you have an advocate. Some other make it look like you ain't got a companion because there's something called presumption sin. I'm not caring how intelligent you are or how rich you are or how beautiful or how handsome you are. The ground is level. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying like I want to close. Oh God, I want to close. There's something that dawns on me and I, 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 I'm, I soon let you go, but you just dawn on me and there are some persons, when you see people rise up against you and you are living a clean life before God, it's not you, you know. It's not you. But it's the God in you. So if you are here, Christians, I know we, we, we have differences, but if you are up against somebody here, you don't like that person, examine yourself. But it could, it could be the devil in you or it could be the devil in them but there's a devil somewhere because the church of God is based upon love and if there's animosity somebody is not connecting so if a man just can't take a bone under the pastor a man can't love the pastor none at all, he can't, can't stand the pastor maybe show me your testimony it look like you're not live because if a pastor live, then, then how you if the man of God are live and you just don't like him? Examine yourself now. If he's real, it's a real man of God. Me not talk about gymnastic. Me not talk about those who love stage. Me not talk about one who call and you know what God sent him. And you can't take him, you don't like him. 
It's the devil in you that hear the God in the man, in the woman. I don't know, um, Lord God Almighty, I don't want to spoil anything, but we, we all have differences, but that doesn't mean that we should get bitter so we can't take that one. If you feel a little something for Sister Ham, it's all right that you can go and discuss with Saham and say, Saham, you know, so and so. And clear the air. But, but if you are, you are just bitter when you see she come, you, you change your part. And, and you know, and talk. And every time you talk, every time she talk, your spirit. And you can't sleep at night because. You say, ko So you have to examine it whether it's the God in you. That is irritating. That if it's a God in you that is causing them to be irritated. Are there's a devil in you? Because, because one can be playing around and have a nice suit. And dress morally and speak eloquently. But God is not in them. So when, whenever time you go up to that one, you realize something now can you say? Yes. Oh Lord God Almighty. But if I'm, I'm, I'm helping somebody, I just feel like saying, I must, oh God help me Jesus. But if you are here going through this season, and truth until God calls you or take you home. Anytime you know, like somebody, that your spirit will tell you that something wrong, that you can't connect with that person, examine yourself. And if you examine yourself and you're doing right and you line up with the scripture, line up with his words, then perhaps that man that you don't like too much and your spirit, they say your spirit can't take, might be that one need to be examined. So it is either one or the other. <laughs> I'm closing, I'm closing, I'm closing. I'm, I'm helping somebody, I'm helping somebody. I'm helping somebody. I'm helping somebody. Hey, coach, I say, Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hey, God, I praise you. Hey, God, I worship you. Somebody worship him. 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 Come, Sister Henry, come and close for us in prayer. Take your time. Glory. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let us bow our hearts before the Lord. Holy Father, we praise your name today. We lift you up, Lord. We magnify you. We exalt you. We praise you, God. We hail you as our risen Lord. We glorify you today, Lord, because you are no longer in the grave. You have been risen. And today, God, we serve you as our risen Savior. We just want to thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that we could have come into your house today, Lord, to celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of our lives. Father, we thank you and we lift you up today, God, and we glorify you because you reign supreme over our lives. Heavenly Father, it's not the good that we have done, but it's because of your grace, it's because of your mercy, it's because of your love, God, that you have gone on that old rugged cross. And Lord, you bled and died to resist to redeem our souls, God, and to give us this opportunity today. And so we thank you. Heavenly Father, we are about to go to our separate homes. I pray, Holy Spirit of God, that you'll ever journey with us. Lord, we thank you that we have been in your house today. And God, your word has gone forth. And God, help us today that we may just concentrate on you and your words, God. That we may write your words on the tables of our heart. And Lord God, we may just chew upon your words, God. And let it be sustenance to our souls. Father, 
Father in heaven, I pray today that your Holy Spirit will continue to permeate our atmosphere. And God, that we will continue to walk in your precepts and to do your will. Heavenly Father, I pray today that you never cover us, O oh God, comprehensively yes. with the blood. The blood that never loses its power. The blood that continues to give us strength from day to day. Yes. Father, I ask that you continue, O oh God, to cover us. Help us, Lord God, just to continue to walk, Lord God, faithfully before you, Lord God, because we know that is what you require of us. I pray, Holy Spirit of God, that you ever take full control. Continue to tabernacle with us today. Today. Continue to lead us, Lord God, in the path of righteousness for your name's sake, because God, that is what you desire of us. I pray, Holy Spirit of God, that you ever take over. Lead the way for us, God. Cover us, Lord God, comprehensively, continually with your blood. Continue to open doors and make the way for us, God. Help us, Lord God, just to continue to look to you because, God, you are our ultimate healer. You are our ultimate deliverer. You are our ultimate provider. And, God, we just can't make it without you. And so, God, today I pray that you'll continue, Lord God, to tabernacle with us. Lord, I pray that your guiding hands will rest upon our lives continually as we tread this pathway. God, we are in the season, oh God, where you, Lord Jesus Christ, have reminded us, oh God, of what you had done some years ago on Calvary's cross. And God, today we can cry, oh God, that we, Lord Jesus Christ, have been, Lord Jesus Christ, um, call, come comprehensively oh God guided by your mighty hands and we have been covered comprehensively with the blood that was shed for us take full control Lord have thy own in our lives as we seek to honor you we seek to glorify you we seek to walk in your precepts and give you Lord God all that is desired of us take full control in Jesus name we pray Amen. thank you very much remain standing in the house Amen. Praise God. Now, Virgin and friends, I commend you to God. And I declare, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord God, Jehovah, may he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he, the King of Israel, the King of all kings, may he cause his face to shine upon you and give you his peace. We all say, Amen. Good afternoon, everybody. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.